Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and in today's video, what we're going to be talking about is Simeon's Export Request Vehicles, which every so often you guys will run across a vehicle, I don't know, maybe it could be a random vehicle on the street, you grab that car, then all of a sudden, you got two stars and the cops are chasing you, and then you're going to probably get some text message from Simeon saying, uh, hello my friends, I need that car, and you're like, no dude, I just, I'm trying to get somewhere, but anyways, in this video, we're going to be talking about everything you guys need to know about Simeon export vehicles and potentially how much money they're going to be worth how often do they spawn in the game so here's the basically two rules right here and this is a great location to find Simeon cars by the way if you guys are looking for Simeon cars right here right next to the Los Santos custom shop is a great place now something that can happen too is you guys don't know what these cars necessarily look like and you don't know what cars you're looking for now you don't need to get a text message from Simeon to get one of these cars. That's already been a proven fact right there. Now, another thing too, you guys, is how often do these cars spawn in potentially as in how often can we be doing the Simeon cars, which is going to be once, and this is gonna be real life hours, every 24 hours in the game. So here's the lineup for the vehicles, and I got this right off of a wiki page. So I just typed in like Simeon vehicles or something, or Simeon export vehicles, and then it gives you the list right here. And if you click on one of these, if you go to the website, which we'll have that linked in the description below, hopefully, uh, you guys can actually see what the vehicle looks like. I mean, most of us know what a lot of these vehicles look like, like a Comet, um, you know, an Infernus, other things in there too, I would say that are pretty, um, you know, I, I can't really see the names the best. Maybe I should have blown it up better or have better vision. But anyways, from there, you guys get the gist of it right here. So those are lineups and those are vehicles right here. And then of course, I just got one star right here because he does not want this car at wheels? all. And <laughs> once again, okay. if you guys don't know what you're looking for, you can easily just look at the list and then type in like a couple of those names. But once again, you should be recognizing some of those names in there, like a bullet. We all know what a bullet is. And then like right What's here up, too, pal? the Obey like 9F so right there. That's been in the game forever. Uh, okay. I'm not even sure if you can buy that anymore. But yeah, and potentially like instead of doing something like, I don't know, just running around looking for cars, you would actually find like what you're looking for. Like I know what a Felzer looks like. I seen this thing driving and I was like, oh, that's one of the cars that I'm looking for. So once you guys get one of these vehicles, what's going to be required is you're going to take this to the Los Santos Internet, or I would say the Los Santos Custom Shop, sorry. Uh, getting the cops on us, two stars. Yeah, Best thing like you can do is just call up Lester real quick and then go ahead and get rid of him. But for this, for some weird reason, it would not let me get rid of the cops. So, uh, you know, push comes to shove. I'm gonna have to do it old school and I'm just gonna be driving like down some alleyways or something like that. Uh, because yeah, we need to lose these two stars before the two stars turn into five stars, which can happen uh, pretty quickly if you're if you're me in the game. But anyways, from there you guys, yep, we're gonna lose these stars real quick, and then we're gonna go to the Los Santos Custom Shop, which is just right around the corner here. So hopefully, uh, we can uh, lo lose these cops, which you know can't call Lester for some reason. I don't know why. Don't know why. Will not allow me to. So yep, we gotta old school this and just go ahead and get rid of these cops. And then after we got rid of the cops, we're gonna take this here. So the only thing that's required us to do is we just need to change the paint, okay? Now, if anything does cost us here, I think it's like $10 to repair the car if you guys mess it up or something. But we're just gonna go ahead and do that. And you guys should get a refund on that when we end up do taking it to Simeon's garage, which I'll show you where that is here in a second if you don't know. And I always like to put chrome on my vehicles for some reason. I just think chrome is really cool. Uh, not, I don't know if is it a color? Is chrome a color? I guess it is a color. All right. There it is, right there. All the way at the docks is Simeon's garage, and that's where we're gonna be taking this vehicle right now. So, let's talk about this for a second, which is something that doesn't happen with the import-export vehicles that you just find randomly around the map, is damage with this vehicle. You guys don't wanna damage these vehicles if you're gonna want the full price. And the full price for a lot of the high-end vehicles, which are our high-end vehicles and low-end vehicles, and for the high-end vehicles, Good you fine, should be man. getting around 20 thousand dollars which once again you guys can be doing this every single day and i think for one of the platinum achievements uh in the game is to go ahead and complete 
uh, a whole mess of these Simeon missions. So every single day in the game, if you guys ever get a text message, you might want to think about just taking like five minutes, finding the car, respraying it, and taking it down here too, because you guys can be getting some extra rewards for that, uh, you know, with RP and other things like that. Platinum rewards in your stats is what I'm talking about, which right now in the game, which has to deal with some challenges, actually has to have you require to complete 10 vehicle platinum challenges itself, uh, which you guys can actually find in the stats by going to the awards, which I'll show you real quick. So we're gonna go all the way to stats here. And then it's not in vehicles, so we have to go down to awards. So we're actually gonna be in awards because vehicles just shows like a whole bunch of other stuff. All right, so go to awards, and then we're gonna go down to vehicles right here. So here's the challenge. All right, so it looks like I just unlocked, or maybe not got it yet. Oh yeah, I got gold. So it looks like hopefully next uh, will end up being like platinum or something like that, and then I can finish all these challenges, which is actually something that has to be done right now in the game, uh, which the you know the brand new GTA Online challenges have just come in. But anyways, from there, guys, this is uh, basically all that you guys need to know about the Simeon vehicles. And then once again, you can always visit that Wikipedia page if you guys are wondering exactly what a vehicle looks like, like a Xeon or something, or something that, you know, a Jackal, maybe something you're unfamiliar with the name, but you know what it looks like. But anyways, from there, you guys, if the video was helpful, hit the like button on the way out, subscribe for new content, and you should go check out my channel because we've got tons of other videos just like this to help you guys out in Grand Theft Auto V. But from there, you guys, thank you for watching. My name is Gravesite, and I'll see you in the next one. So, peace.